Did George catch any fish? Fat and healthy. Good morning, Dark Sizzle Nation. We are up here in beautiful Stewart, Florida. It's a beautiful day up here. It's basically crack of noon now, but we got up here super early, been up since 4 a.m. We've literally had a full day adventure already. And basically we have been fishing, looking for bait all morning. Then we ended up buying bait from the live bait guy. And now we have arrived at our first fishing location for snook. Now the reason we're up here today is because you guys may have heard about all sorts of, of uh, water pollution, like green algae blue algae, the red tide, that's on the southwest side of Florida. So we wanted to come up here to Stewart and check it out and show you guys kind of what's going on. Now, just like Darcy said, we have seen sharks, porpoises, manatee right here. We caught uh, all kinds of bait. It's, things are going great. So I want to let you know that although these things are happening in Florida and we're going to talk about them a little bit more, we're going to go find some green algae to show you what's going on exactly. But again, come down to Florida, Things are mostly great, all right? We got a couple problems, we got a couple problems, but we're working on them and they're gonna resolve themselves. So uh, let's, let's catch some big fish and then check out what's going on with the ecosystem around here. First fish on of the day, just like that. We literally just started fishing about five, 10 minutes ago. And as we started fishing, we had two other boats roll up on us, but it's a beautiful snook. He just put up, he just jumped actually. He's such a beautiful jump. And I'm just really hoping that there's no sharks in the area today, but he is fighting great. I just hope that Megan can land him in the net right now. Beautiful, healthy, fat female snook. Let's see how big she is. And she seems like she's about 32 inches long, which is the upper size of the slot category, but it is not time to keep snook this time of the year as they're spawning. So it's mandatory catch and release, but this is a beautiful, healthy female snook, and she's gonna get a lot bigger. Time to release this beautiful slot female snook. She's so fat. She is going to spawn and be super healthy, and I can't wait for this fish to get a lot bigger. We have somebody trolling right through our fishing spot, so that's awesome. <laughs> but basically, this is the time of the year all the snook lay up in here and uh, hang out and that's where you catch them all and that's where they're spawning so it's pretty cool we are now that's my goal is to now get megan a fish what do you think yeah let's do it let's do it here she goes up to the deep she got it Come on, he's coming in he's coming in second fish of the day Megan is hooked up now. I'm pretty sure it's a beautiful snook. We got a boat coming. We are kind of in a channel, which is not good, but I think she's got a solid fish on. So keep feeling, Megan. Keep I'm trying. Good job. good job. Just like that. Good job. Now raise that rod to tip up high. When he's running like that, you can't reel. Now you're looking good. <gasps> what a monster. Megan, turn him, turn him. Right to my neck. Wait, wait, wait. Let him run. We don't want to lose him. Reel him up. Reel him, reel. Yeah, try everything you can. Got him! Oh, Megan! Oh, yes. That's a stud! Open your bail. Open your bail. Yes. That's a stud fish, Megan. Way bigger than my fish. Dude, that is a dinosaur snook. That, look at the mouth on this thing. Oh my goodness. This is a fish of a lifetime for anybody, Megan. You did a great job. These fish fight so hard, especially a big, beautiful female like this girl. She's huge. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Like I said, five bot must add circle hooks to match the size of your bait. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's huge. Dude, this is a huge fish, Megan. We can measure it. All day. Can I try to measure it? Giant female. And this. So you can adjust the body. Now you're going to have to balance her right on the zero. It's about 38. A 38 inch beautiful snook, Megan. That's awesome. We're gonna get her released right away. Don't like her with her mouth. Oh, yeah. Turn her around. Yep. And just hold on to her for a second. And as soon as she starts to bite you a little bit, like she did me, then that's when it's time to let her go. But she, snook thumb, they have very, they don't really keep your head, her head down in the water just like that. Perfect. See how the current's going over her gills? So she's basically just getting her strength back right now from the fight. She put up a huge fight for you. Megan's biggest fish ever. Yeah, it is. It's that pretty is wild. Stud. Look Dang. how fat that fish it is. Up a fight. She's so fat. That's a big, beautiful, healthy, spawning snook that she's gonna lay thousands and thousands of eggs. 
There she goes. Yeah. There she goes. There she goes. Yeah, Beautiful. look at her. But that was perfect. She swam right back down. But she just needed a little bit more time. In particular, like when you handle big fish like that and they fight you so hard, she was tail kicking and jumping and doing crazy stuff during the fight. They need a little bit of time to revive. So you saw how she acted kind of like she wasn't doing anything, like she was a zombie. And then all of a sudden she came back to life and kicked and that was awesome. So great release on that fish. And he got the biggest fish of the day so far. Yeah. So success already. Woo. And we can't wait to show you guys the green algae very soon. Woohoo! I'm getting this one because there's so many snook, I want to get one. Oh! No! What, you, what happened there? Chewed through my hook. Wow. My fish. Nice job with Aaron on recording. I wanted to mention Megan. though. Megan! Megan, not Aaron. Do it. Megan, I'm sorry. Do it. Nice, nice job, Megan, on the camera there while Putin was trying to catch a fish. I just wanted to mention. That while we were fishing, George Gods from Florida Sportsman, Real Time Sports Fishing, came over here and Darcy threw a couple lunkers in his face and he left. He didn't catch any fish. I'm just saying, this is real time, real fishing. Right, Sizzle? Did George catch any fish? No. <laughs> he also wasn't here very long. Oh no, he's down there still trying to. Ooh, ooh. Hold it. Just hold it. Don't do anything. So, almost got a fish here, but. Yeah, Lonka right in his face, and he took and he left. Then we just caught. We saw you saw. Like that, hold it like that. He's jumping. That is a really good bait. Get him out there. Get him out there. Nice. Where's that mouth? Awesome job. That was a great throw. Thank you. Oh, he just came up the. Oh, he's coming back to the boat. Look at him. Is he on the hook? Yeah. I'm hooked. You line up. Nice job, Megan. What? Fish slayer over here. Keep that rod tip up. Yep, good job. Good job. Ryan, you gonna film? I got the coat rod. Got the middle of the knot. Megan is hooked up again. She just did that all by herself. She casted out that whoa, beautiful fish, Megan. She just casted out that bait. Nice job. There he comes, there. Nice job. Come over here. Whoa! Smoking that armor. <laughs> That's a 5,000 series armor reel. She's running. Keep that rod tip up, and you gotta crank down on her. She is not giving up. All right, real. Just like that. Right to her. Right to me. Right to me. Right to me. Shark. Shark. Yeah. Shark just came up. Pumpy. That is another slob in All the boat. Right. Megan is killing it. Heck yeah. Megan's an official fisher girl today. <laughs> she literally just casted out that bait. She just hooked that bait, casted out that bait, and caught that fish all on her own. Whoa. This is one angry female snook man. Right in the corner of the mouth, guys. The circle hooks are the most, one of the, one of the ways that you're gonna ensure that the fish does not get gut hooked. She just hooked herself. Good job, clear that hook. Oh, so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful color on that fish. Check her out. They're all so fat and healthy. It's just such a great sign to see, to see especially with the green algae running out of Lake Okeechobee. I'm gonna slide her into the water. Hold on, I'm gonna hold her tight. Put her head under the water. All right, I'm gonna hold on to her now. Hold on to her tight. See, she's just cutting me up everywhere. She put up a heck of a fight for a 34. All right, good, good job. job. Woo, there she goes. Staring. See your war wounds. She's They're not that bad. It's not that bad yet. <laughs> but I just try oh, to explain to her, I'm like, grip that fish. Totally in the beginning. Totally cool. Really, yeah. really cool to see the healthy snook here in the inlet this time of the year, especially with the green algae that we have in the St. Lucie River here and the runoff from Lake Okeechobee, which we'll explain here in a second. But three solid snook. Nice job. Teamwork. It was National Sisters Day yesterday, right? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. celebrating. So we're celebrating today. <laughs> Killing it. Awesome job, ladies. I just wanted to mention for a quick tackle time, we're using 30 pound leader and a 40 pound leader, right? Yeah. To a, uh, a 3 0 Mustad circle hook. Hooking the, uh, no, I'm using a 5-0, I oh, told them. 5-0 circle hook th through the chain and we're getting the bites on the top baits today, not the weight. So, you know, you just gotta mix it up and I'll do a more in-depth on that on oh, Patreon. And this month I we know. had the best Patreon month ever. Thank yeah, you so much guys for helping us bring these great videos yeah, to everybody. And uh, let's get back to fishing. All right guys, there's a little green algae. Honestly, you know, not that easy to find. Um, but it's down to the end of this canal. I mean, it was the first canal we went down. Maybe it's in every canal, but you know, it's not like in the main waterway where the current is. It's in, in the dead end canal. So let's see what else we can find. 
There's a ton of green algae in here, man. We got out here. It smells so bad. The blue is a rotten green algae. It's, it's terrible. Basically, oh, I just saw a fish, sorry. Basically, there's green algae everywhere. It's covering the surface of the water. In some areas, it's more concentrated so you can see it better. But for us, we can see little tiny particles everywhere we go. And we're in a canal now where Florida Sportsman Magazine actually has a building here and they're right on the canal. They had to close down their office two weeks ago because of the high levels of toxic green algae. Pretty crazy. So we're just in this area checking it out, but it still kind of smells too. Like we mentioned before, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about red tide and green algae and blue algae and all this junk. Now, I don't want to get all into the specifics of it too much. Um, we're going to put some links down below yes. to people who know more about it you know, than we do. Right. Okay, like, and uh, you can read up on it and educate yourself a little more. Yeah, you can so just you, Google it. Yeah, right. yeah. So like, like we're the, not experts. Right, right. So Captains of Clean Water will link down below. Yes. And I'll put the map for where the red tide is more on the west coast. Yes. And uh, again, you know, I don't want to, I'm not an expert. I'm not a, a water right. scientist. I don't want to get into everything. But basically, you know, like where Orlando and Disneyland and everything is, you know, there's all kinds of runoff that comes down. You know, and it goes Fresh in Lake Okeechobee. Runoff. Yeah, and, and sewers and fertilizer and all this stuff, and it comes down to Lake Okeechobee, and then instead of going through the Everglades, now it shoots out to the sides. So it comes right here through the St. Lucie River, where we're showing you in this footage, and also it comes out over in Fort Myers. So we both have green algae, and then you get blue algae when the, when the green algae rots. Okay? Right. And all of this is different than the red tide. Right, completely which, different. Which is totally... The red tide actually only occurs on the west coast of Florida. It very rarely happens here on our east coast, so we never have experienced it. But that's uh, it's an occurrence that happens yearly. Yes. And in particular, this year, it's been very, very bad, killing dolphins, turtles, manatees. all the breeders, snook, manatees, you name it, it's killing all species of fish, which is terrible to see. And uh, we had a lot of fans actually message us about that too. Yeah, so that's, so, uh, yeah, so at right least here. you're aware of that, but that also has to do with kind of with the Lake Okeechobee uh, discharges as well. Yeah, they all kind of mashed but, together and a ton of reasons. Yes. And there's not a real, any great solution. Yeah. You know, except to get rid of everybody. But we're not going to happen. And I just really quick read up on Lake Okeechobee a little bit and about the dike that we have around the lake. Basically, they control the water levels there. So when we have heavy rains coming, they drain all the water out. Right. And that's when we get the algae. And then um, they like to keep the levels a little low during the summertime because of the hurricanes that, that usually pop up. So they're always constantly controlling that. And basically, if the dike were to ever break, it would basically like flood the whole city of Okeechobee yeah, right. City around so it. So it's not a great solution. It's not good. So yeah. it's a lot of... So, because, oh, they're just sending the water to the east and the west coast, and they're totally destroying our fisheries, and you saw it, and it's, it's terrible to see in person. Right, so I, I don't but, know exactly what the solution is. It's very complicated, but, you know, read those links down below. Do some research on your own. Uh, come and visit Florida. You saw we yes. caught some great fish today, right, and right. there's all kinds of great no stuff. So, so come on down, you know, and we need to tourism, yes. of course, especially with some bad press. And on Captains for Clean Water, I believe you, I believe you can sign, like, some form to be, like, an activist, an active to be a part of helping stop these discharges and actually flow the water south, which yeah. is a natural flow from 100 years ago. So, so uh, and of course, that. and of course, vote. You know, I, I don't want to get <laughs> very close. I don't want to get political, but you know, do your research, see who supports the position you support, and, and vote. And uh, that's all I can say about it. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. Um, I hope you learned a little bit of something, and we caught a bunch of fish. Can't complain about that. And maybe we'll leave some how-to information on Patreon yes, about how we caught those fish and all the, the deet, tackle. The deets. Yeah, like the deets, exactly. Rod, rod, reel, combo, all that good stuff. And I'm going to learn a new dance. Look. <laughs> yeah. We all, I think we need to do like a, a that same dance together. It's pretty funny, but he's getting good at it. Um, he starts going faster and faster, but it's pretty all right, funny. Alright, let's wrap it up. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification if you haven't so you receive updates of when our new videos are posted. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Megan says follow your dreams too. She's behind the camera. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams and keep on catching. catching. Boom.